press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Well, here's to England's worst stunned on the opening day of the Women's World Cup. Losing by 35 runs to India, they were set a world record run chase for a 50-over game of 282, but came up short, as Joe Wilson reports. Well, maybe every World Cup needs to begin with a shock. It's a good way of gaining interest in the tournament. And if this World Cup is about trying to unlock the cricketing potential for women in India, then here is something for that country to latch on to. Start of play, everything was in England's favour. We had cloudy skies, England won the toss and unleashed two of the most experienced fast bowlers in women's cricket. India's reaction? Well, Smriti Mandana just got on the back foot and whacked the ball to the boundary. Her 90 of 72 balls was superb, scintillating play. And with other contributions throughout the top order, it enabled India to set such a stiff target. In fact, England needed to achieve their highest ever run chase to win the match, 282 they wanted. Never really got off to a flying start, early wickets and then pegged back uh, by some fine fielding in terms of run outs. Now we saw drop catches from both teams but the direct hits from India were there. Still, with Fran Wilson playing the most significant innings of her career, England was still in with a shout. Last 10 overs only needed 72. Again, it was a run out that did for Fran Wilson and then the rest followed. England all out for 246. Now remember, there is a round-robin stage initially in the World Cup, so nobody's out yet. But in terms of generating interest, well, as we said, there's nothing like a shock. And we had one here in Derby.